Danica and I, my little Danica. Um, we are here to show you guys our basically our food haul for the next about week and a half or so. I tend to go to same places. This one is a business Costco, Trader Joe's, and then I I just stopped a little bit over at our Albertson grocery store, and it was just a few items to be honest with you. It was like these items was already like I think thirty dollars, so which was actually ridiculous because this whole thing over at trader joe's that i purchased was like 98 dollars or like 90 97 point something so like i said this is why i love to go to trader joe's it's because the prices are very affordable and then it has like great quality food so let's just start off with over here which is costco and this is business costco my business costco is just down the road from me and so i do stop there basically to stock up especially if it's sale items i will pick it up if it's a sale items most of the time i will not pick it up if it's not sale items unless i really need it so this one wasn't on sale and it wasn't really i needed it so i kind of contradicted myself but this is just 5.99 for these cheese and berries especially when i have um kids here after school not my own kids but other kids and it's kind of hard to give them a snack that I have and then I don't have enough to give to everybody. So um, there was already, um, I think, one in here that they took out. So it's $5.99 for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's basically a dollar a piece. And these are the same danishes that you buy over at like the, um, the little marts, like the, the um, gas station mini marts. And you, you basically get this over at um, Business Costco for a dollar a piece. So they had like blueberries. This one is cheese and berries. Um, figured you can't go wrong with that. So my kids don't really eat this per se. But when I have kids over as an after school snack, they'll, they'll munch on that. 30 bags of the bake is currently on sale at um, Business Costco. This was like $3 off, I think. And then Special K for cereals, that was um, only $5, I think, for the two, um, the two bags in there. And again, that was on sale. This one was on sale for $5.97. This is amazingly good for the price. So it's basically a dollar a bowl, and everything you need is in here. There, it's, it's um, pho. So if I have the rotisserie chicken or grilled chicken, I add that in there, and it is just a meal in itself. But even without adding um, um, meat, other chicken or you know pork or beef, um, even if you don't add that, this is actually a really good meal. Again, five ninety seven for six of them. So I bought two of that. My business Costco has these bagels for just two dollars, I think, and twenty nine cents. So I bought the French um, French toast, maple French toast. They had other varieties. But usually regular Costco, they would have like the Costco brand and then they would um, offer it for two. Those ones kind of tend to be like kind of hard. So kids don't really eat those. But of course, the kids love these Thomas uh, bagels. And I just picked up one. I got the eggs. This was $6.99 over at Business Costco and I think even at regular Costco. So I picked up a organic, um, organic eggs. Six bucks. You can't beat it. And then I now get my mayo over at Costco. This is $6.99 for this huge one. Usually I'll pay grocery, um, like regular store, like Albertson grocery store. Like half of this size is already $5. $5. So I might as well just pick up the large one because we use it for a lot. We use it for um, like this one. We bought this for... Um, for the family, it's the Mission Wraps. It was only $2 over at Business Costco, and then I picked up some lettuce so the kids can make, um, the whole family can just basically grab and go. I'll wash, I'll pre-wash this and pre-chop it so then they can just um, kind of spread this. And that's why I needed to go to the grocery store. I'll reach over here, is the kids like it with the ranch. So I mix the ranch with a little bit of mayo so that it's not too ranchy. And then they'll spread it. They'll put the shredded lettuce in there. And then I got some veggies in there. Like the, um, that's why I buy these over at Trader Joe's because it's already shredded um, carrots. They just add that in there and then they are good to go 
or when I'm grilling, they'll put the meat in there. They're good to go as well. Oh, you know what? I'm missing a bag because where's my, where's my tomatoes? Ooh, I'm missing a bag. Okay, I am back. So I noticed that there was another bag that I did not um, unload. And then that was because I had to go back into Trader Joe's because I did forget I did forget to get like the, the spaghetti noodles. So I did spend 97 on one transaction and then I went back there and spent 30 on another transaction. So, all right, I added that in there. So this is a total from Trader Joe's was a total of 97 plus, uh, plus 30. And so, where was I? So, oh, okay, with this, the reason that I knew I was missing something was because tomatoes. So I'll also get the tomatoes, kind of chop it up along with the, um, the shredded lettuce and then the, the shredded lettuce and the carrots and then the meat and then they got themselves a um a spinach spinach wrap so that's why i got that and then this one over at trader joe's this was I mean, i'm sorry costco something special artisan red chili pepper so they had this and then um the other costco the regular costco had this as a sample and when I had gone there and they put like a cracker with one of the cheese and then put this on top of the cheese, like a little drizzle, it was really so good. So I, I saw this and I'm like, you know what? I think it was like $4. I picked it up, that one. And then this one, I like to get these nice uh, meat, the buns. And it's not here because I have my freezers downstairs, but I bought the Costco um, sirloin steaks that comes into like an... Um, like a long bag, $18. I don't know how many burgers are in there. So we use that, so we're gonna grill our own burger. And then I also bought the chicken patty. Um, kids like to order the, the girls like to order the, it's like a dollar um, chicken sandwich from Jack in the Box. So I figured I'd just have that shredded lettuce again, mix the mayo and the ranch as the dressing for it. And then you got the buns, you got the chicken patty. They're good to go. Okay, and then over here, you guys know how much I've, I've been snacking and I love it, which is the, I prefer this compared to, thank you baby, compared to this, the salami. Um, my go-to was just the salami before, along with the, the cheese, and then the cheese I like to get, sorry, are these, the Sargento, um, pepper jack, Colby jack, um, herb, Something like herb and then tomato and basil. I like those kinds. And then I basically cut them in quarters. And then I'll cut this in half and then roll it. And then I got myself a cheese and protein snack. Um, or else this goes with that as well. But I really, really like the, the taste of the prosciutto. And then this one has a mildly smoked flavor. So this is really good. $4.99 over at um, Trader Joe's. So you can't beat that got that as a snack and oh last time you guys saw how i um i had this into my last haul pulled pork so this time i bought the pulled pulled beef brisket as well i think they also had like a chicken one but definitely the kids love kids and i love the um the pulled pork and then i wanted to try the beef brisket this was 6.99 and then this was 4.99 and then my my usual uh meal danica do you like this yeah <laughs> and then this is um hubby's favorite hot sauces are over at trader joe's green dragon hot sauce he loves loves that but the typical ones i get over at trader joe's linguine and clam sauce so i just make this i drizzle fresh lemon juice in there and then it is so good and then sprinkle a little bit of like shredded cheese if i have shredded cheese that's a good meal in itself jonathan loves this this is the um battered trader joe's nuggets fish nuggets for i think three dollars or four dollars you cannot beat that meatballs when the kids are making spaghetti like i said i forgot to get some spaghetti noodles and spaghetti sauce there we go and then we got this so they are good to go with that I always have to have this. We are having a snowstorm, so I wanted to make sure and stock up on some um, ready meals that we have like a, um, you know, those gas things that you have for the camping. So in case our power goes out because our, um, our stove is electricity. So in case we need to do that, 
Then I already have some packaged meals that um, that's ready to go. Quickly defrost this out for a few hours, and then it's already um, everything's like basically pre-cooked. So got that. And then Danica wanted to show Trader Joe's. We have some diced fire roasted tomatoes. I like to put this onto my chili, so I bought two of that. And then over here, one of the new items is sweet Italian sausage and four cheese ravioli. Easy peasy, just get this for the kids as an after school snack. And then get some of those um, marinara sauce and then they're good to go. And then of course I have my, um, my mac and cheese. I just picked up two this time. And then I needed some juice. Danica, do you like the pineapple juice? Yeah, okay, so she loves pineapple juice. And I always have to have a pineapple juice. And then um, and this time. And I like um, that one. The other one? Mm -hmm. The organic um, orange strawberry banana juice. And also we needed some milk just in case. We do have our milk delivered just in case the milkman doesn't come tomorrow because of the snow. Then um, we have the organic 2% milk. And then I also bought water from uh, Costco that's in the garage. I bought two of those um, in case the power goes out. Um, we're good to go. And then I bought my veggies. Oh, let's go talk about this first. So I bought this one. This is the firm tofu. The reason I bought this one is because my friend was telling me she's Japanese and, oops, sorry, baby. And she loves um, this one. She says, go to the Asian market, get the Chinese, is it mabo, is it mabo tofu sauce? I've never had this to tell you the truth. But she said, all you have to do is just basically ground the ground pork and then the, um, the the firm tofu and then add the seasoning and you are good to go put it over steam rice so i wanted to go ahead and and do that recipe because i found this one so um one of these nights i'm gonna go ahead and make that for the family and see how they like it so i said the mac and cheese i just picked up two and then these are my favorite orange tangerine tangelo um kind of mix this is the sumo i think it's called sumo oranges um they look pretty ugly on the outside kind of like you know um the shape is just kind of odd but it is the most delicious um tangerine orange mixture ever oh i picked up three of those and then of course you guys know i have to have my japanese um, style fried rice kids love this um i don't like it by itself i think that it's a little bit um greasy by itself even though it just requires just like a splash of olive oil i do like to mix it though with um, some uh, leftover white rice or fresh white rice and just kind of uh, tone down the flavor a bit and then so i like to get this in a pack of together of three so what i'll do is that i'll um i'll put some like maybe half a cup of each maybe um you know i, I don't really have a recipe but half a cup of this half a cup half a cup put it into a ziploc bag so then when i do my stir uh, my japanese fried rice like this if you guys notice there's that carrot um instead of the instead of the beans i put the um the peas in there and then i put a little bit of a uh, corn as a uh, fried rice and then it's already in a ziploc bag so when i do my my egg mixture and then i'm doing my um I put that aside, I do the scrambled eggs, put that aside, and then add this, kind of put that to the side, and then I'll get my rice and flavor that with salt and pepper, a little bit of um, soy sauce, and then once the rice is kind of warm, I even put a little bit of garlic in there. Um, I add these, that's already in one bag, and then I got, and then the eggs, and then I got myself fried rice. And then I can easily pack that for the kids. Um, to pack for lunch because you guys know my girls do not pack sandwiches. Jonathan packs sandwiches, not these. The girls does not like sandwiches and prefer like like stir fries like these. Okay, so and then I did um, get the carrots. I like to get these, the cut and peel. We can easily snack them. I pack them as well for the kids for um, after school snack or lunch snack. Um, cut up some celery as well. And then I have um, peanut butter that they can um, the, dip the peanut butter in. And even cookie butter. Um, get that. And then also, but I got that because I wanted to make um, pot rose. So I got the, the little bag. It's like $1.79 for the small bag of potatoes. Because we don't eat a lot of 
like potato potatoes and then make my pot roast into my um instapot which is my um kasori um kasori pressure cooker and then i like to get my tomatoes over at trader joe's i'll actually just wash this add it onto that um salad or to the um to the wrap but i'll just rinse this and then i'll go to work upstairs because i work from home put in a little bowl sorry my battery put in a little bowl and then i have a, a snack that um, i can munch on over at work and then also gala apples i like this one kids are not into apples right now because it's not in season but this one is just two i think 229 or 299 is organic and it's like the baby apples perfect size for danica as well i just peel it she just holds on to it and then she'll munch on it again that was the hot sauce oh this is my new item so every time I purchase um, something at Trader Joe's, I try to get new items. I like to go look into their new item shelf. And I don't think this is a new item though, but it's a new item for me. Let's just put it that way. And um, chili spice mango, this was about $2. So again, wanted to try that out because I love the, um, I love the, like the Hawaii um, snacks that has like the, um, like the plum. Um, flavored into their um, fruit so I do that and then I got squash and you guys know I like to grill this but this time I don't think I'm gonna grill it I'm just gonna dice it up saute it in just a little bit of uh, butter and a little bit of olive oil and then when it's cooked I'm gonna add some of my tomatoes in there and then I'll eat it just like that over <laughs> over steamed rice or with uh, the Japanese fried rice I'm weird okay I like to get this over at Trader Joe's. This is the ginger stir and paste because my ginger always goes bad like really fast because I don't use it too often. But I buy this even though the expiration says like, you know, doesn't expire until like maybe May or June. Once I open it, I only keep it in the fridge for about a few weeks, you know, two or three weeks and then I toss it out. Okay, so marinara sauce. I got the, the kids like that nacho cheese another baking thing for the kids oops sorry because we are going to be snowed in so i bought something for them to bake cinnamon sugar muffin baking mix that's always popular i got my soda water that i get over at trader joe's they're 99 cents i got orange and cranberry again the juices i got my butter danica the four-year-old so i was using the um the cheap butter because i have a cheap butter also for cooking I think it's the one that says, I can't believe it's not butter. So I had that on toast because I ran out. Carry gold. She goes, um, I don't like this butter. She means that she only likes the carry gold butter. So that is very good on toast. And got this one for hubby. He likes the bacon cheddar ranch dip. And then also he likes the salsa especial medium. This has like a roasty flavor to it. Got that talked about the um potatoes and then i like to use these um capellini is it capellini noodles instead of the thick spaghetti noodles because i'll use these noodles on like um if i have tomatoes and cucumber just kind of season that together along with um the the mccormick supreme salad uh mix the dash like it's it's like a mrs dash but it's a mccormick supreme salad that one that one and just the um, zesty Italian. It is so good. Reason I got that. Okay, so I got a new find of my Trader Joe's. I like to make my own um, like um, soybean paste uh, miso soup. So this is a lot. This was just six dollars. Basically, this is what you use if you want to make your own miso soup, miso salad dressing, like the one that they use for like Benihana. So I got that one. And then I got this. My other Trader Joe's actually has this. This Trader Joe's um, that I've been going to because it's on the opposite side of the town does not have it. And I love this one with, um, if when I do this, um, I'll have a little bit of this with that and it's so good. Or else dip it in crackers. So I, th that's the reason I got that. As far as a cookie, if you guys notice, there's not really cookies in here. I don't really, unless it's at Costco, like I said, that was a good buy, but the kids don't really, my kids don't really care for that. I think I got it um, because it's a dollar. It's a great thing to pack uh, or give out to the kids. Like I said, I got that one when it was on sale, but if you notice, there's not really cookies in here. So this is the cookies for the kids to kind of get into the pantry 
if they're hungry. Got this for Danielle, um, like an after school, cause she has a cheer practice and then she has a game. So I like to give this to her. She opened it. She said she's gonna save it for breakfast. And that's it. Oh, I got the cocoa powder. That's it, friends. So thank you guys for watching it. Simply Simple Life. Um, this is my food haul. Again, there's no pro um, there, there, a lot of it is just a process because this is our go-to meal. But I'm still going to the Asian market and the Asian market, I feel like, you know, I get like the American veggies, like with the celery and all this stuff. But I like to get like bok choy, eggplant, eggplant when we're doing the burgers. I'm going to grill the eggplant and then also um, kind of make that as like a, with scrambled eggs together. It's really good. It's a Filipino dish. Get that one bok choy. I can always steam it, add it onto um, stir fry and noodles. That's perfect. So I do have to get my Asian veggies. Um, my American veggies are more for like the American meals. And then I have a separate um, time that I go to the commissary and it's nothing but just plain meat. My burgers, my, um, not my burgers from the Costco, but my hamburgers, my steak, my chicken, my pork. That's over at the commissary. And then these are just my everyday pantries from Trader Joe's, everyday um, meals from the, um, the freezer kind of thing, refrigeration from um, Trader Joe's and Costco. Okay, as always, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo!